Welcome back to the last in the 16 week grow series for the uh, Spider Farmer SF1000 grow light. And this 100 watt light uh, was used for growing a uh, summer squash. And what I wanted to do with the last few weeks was find out whether or not green beans would grow hydroponically. I set the hanging height of the light to around 18 inches and dialed it down to about 40% to get the uh, PPFD that I needed for green beans. Green beans don't take a lot of light and oftentimes they're referred to as low light plants. One of the things that I noticed was green beans are very easy to start outdoors in soil, but a little difficult for hydroponics. The rock wool, also grow sponges, uh, have not done quite well. I have started on wet paper towel in Ziploc bags and done quite better. This seed was started using the paper towel method and transferred over to rock wool. However, you can see that the growth on there has been detrimental to the seed and that has not been a success. But one of the plants did grow and I've been quite pleased with it. The variety is Contender, and this green bean is an heirloom type plant. I have got eight green beans that are forming on the plant. The uh, blossoms have been a beautiful uh, purple color, and I'm starting to get enough green beans to call this a success for growing in a hydroponic uh, recirculating deep water container. Now, what I'm planning on doing is, based off this grow, the plant itself is not as large. It's about half the size, at least, of outdoors. And the uh, bean plants gather nitrogen in the soil uh, as a part of their natural environment. And with hydroponics, all of the nitrogen is being supplied through nutrients at the base of the plant. So, with that in mind, I could probably bunch these plants a little bit more closely together than what I originally planned. This is a test plant just to see if it would grow. There are a total of five sites on the grow container. It's around six gallons in size and I believe that I could probably plant all five of those uh, sites and you know just based off this initial grow if I were to uh, get green beans off of it, eight uh, per plant, 40 on a first uh, picking, that would be enough for a uh, small uh, dinner. And if that continues to work out well for me, I will look into uh, growing green beans in a system that uh, I could scale up a little bit uh, larger to feed a family. Now, Based off of this, the uh, plant looks like it has good vigor and the uh, beans are starting to fill out a bit. That's uh, what I was hoping to see, that as the plant was growing, that the beans would not only form, but start to plump up. So based on my curiosity, I would say that uh, this has been a success and I appreciate everybody following along with me as I've uh, been doing this test plant and let's uh, take a step forward and in the future let's come back to this and see how well multiple plants do as well as uh, using alternative growth methods.